welcome you all to my channel. Nowadays, due to pandemic, most of the time during the day, I spent sitting in the balcony, reading books, observing outside, listening to music, so on and so forth. Amira, who is just four years old and who stays just opposite to my flat, often visits me and we always have a gala time all together. Day before yesterday, when it was raining heavily, I decided to enjoy the melody of the falling rain while having coffee. At the same time, I thought to tack my dress. So I was holding a needle and the dress to be tacked. Then there was a knock at the door and it was Amira. As usual, when I see Amira, there's always a big smile in my face. So we both sat together in the balcony and enjoyed a lot. There is a canal which is just beside my building and which is also visible from the balcony. Suddenly, Amira and I watched a throng of water striders, also known as water skippers. Even though the canal was not filled with uh, the rainwater, still the water striders were already there. Amira was super fascinated to see those water striders skipping on the water surface. But she was also inquisitive and asked that why the insect did not sink inside the water. I tried to explain the principle as to why the water strider did not sink inside the water holding the needle with me because I was just tacking my dress so I had the needle with me. So I thought let me explain taking the needle. Then Amira asked me, will the needle float above the water surface? To make her understand completely, I thought let me show the experiment. So I started demonstrating the experiment and she was just enjoying it. So are you all ready to do the same experiment with me? Let's get started. For this experiment, we require ball of water, needle, scissor, some tissue, pencil. So, first thing what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop this needle inside the water and let's see what is happening with this needle. Is the needle going to float or is it going to sink? Here I go. What did we observe? The needle sank in the water. Now I'm going to take a piece of tissue. I'll just cut it. Then I'm going to put this piece of tissue on the water and this needle on top of that. Okay, let's see. Slowly, slowly, I will try to take out this piece of tissue from the water and then observe what is happening to the needle. Here I go. I'm going to do something. Let's see. Okay. 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 Oh my God. See? Can you see? Now I'm going to lift this tissue up. This is going to be, I'm going to keep this aside and look at my needle. Now my needle is floating. That's a great view I would say. Before starting with this experiment when I showed you how the needle reacted, it was like the needle sank in the water. But now the needle is floating on the water. 
because of the surface tension. Surface tension happens because the water molecules at the surface of the water are strongly attracted to each other more than they are to the air molecules above them. The water molecules make an invisible skin on the water surface that allows things like the needle to float on top of the water. So this is how the needle is floating. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.